when I started out uh, talking about central banks, which would have been maybe 30 years ago, um, and I was at that time I was talking about the generalized increase of the money supply, which was devaluing what you could buy with it. So that was the reason why house prices were going up, the gold price was going up, stocks were going up. Uh, it wasn't that they, they were all worth that much more. It was just basically the money bought you that much less because there was so much more of it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a bit like when the conquistadors arrived in South America and they started to exchange glass beads for gold with the uh, local population. Well, after a while, the uh, area was so flooded with glass beads that nobody wanted anyone. It wasn't worth as much as it was when they arrived. Every government which has ever existed has always been tempted to overspend. And they, they do that either by uh, debasing the money supply. That means uh, in the old days, adding some base metals to the gold coins or by borrowing. And eventually the situation comes when the money becomes worthless or they can't repay their loans and the system restarts and we have a new system. And once again, a new currency comes into existence and they debase that. The, the world we're living in today is a little bit more sophisticated because we've gone completely off the gold standard. And that's taken away any discipline whatsoever. And it means that governments have got two things that they could do. One, they could borrow themselves uh, with 